Next program is write 8051C program to count number of ones and zeros in two consecutive memory location. Here they are not given any uh, 8 bit number or uh, 16 bit or 32 bit numbers. So I will explain for 8 bit and I will also explain for how it is they change this one for 16 or 32 bit number. So open click software. So already previous programs are there. Uh, remove any old files are there. Add new item uh, to the group and you can uh, uh, select C file and you can take the program. So I already have program. If you, if, uh, file is already existing, you can add existing files. So you have to open new file and paste this program or type this program. So include register 51.h, void main, open bracket, close bracket, unsigned char. Char size is 8 bit. We are checking number of ones and zeros in two 8 bit data. If it is 16 bit data, change this one to int int and give 44 x digit 16 bit data. And if it is for 32 bit data, change this one to long and you give 32 bit two data. And unsigned char i value, then ones and zeros are the two variables to store number of ones and zeros and care uh, care is equal to zero initially this is a carry bit flag okay it is a flag bit and first we have to check the first number array of zero array of zero i can give any number for example you can give 57 57 i am giving Second one is FC. Okay. So these are the two data. You can give whatever data you want. Uh, initially, ones and zeros are also initialized. Once you declare, once you create uh, that variables automatically by default, when they initialize to zero. First, we have to check how many zeros and ones are there in first data 57 hexadecimal. For i is equal to 0, i less than 8. Why 8 means? Because it is a 8 bit data and the size we declared it as care. So care is of type 8 bits. Okay. Care size is I can it can store 8 bit. Okay. For i is equal to 0, i less than 8, i plus plus. Initial value of i is 0, i less than 8. So, what you have to do is array of 0, you have to right shift by 1. The first 57 data is actually right, entire 8 bits are going to right shift by 1 time. And the last bit uh, I will go to that LSB. Since we are shifting right side, uh, it will go to the carry. So, now we have to check the carry. If that LSB is uh, 1, then uh, that one will go to the carry and you are going to get a carry bit in the flag bit you are going to get one so if you are getting one you have to increment one's counter else else means what that lsb was zero and uh, carry becomes zero so we have to increment zero so next i plus plus will takes place so every time if you do right shift okay the result is uh, after right shift the array of zero is a uh, again modified and it will be have shifted value okay we are not having any temporary variable so every time that array of zero the destination register is uh, destination location is also array of zero only so shifted value will overwrite the original value of array of zero so you have to do eight times each time one one bit will go to carry position and if that one it is going to increment the ones. If that particular bit is zero, it will increment the zeros. So this will do. First for loop will do uh, checking all the eight bits of first data. So next one more time you have to check. You can write uh, this. You can write one more outer for loop and you can do. If you are good in C program, you can try that. You can write one more outer for loop. Or two times repeat. Now you can do it. So since uh, they asked only two numbers, one more time I am writing here. 
for i is equal to 0, i less than eight, i plus plus. Now, instead of array of 0, so we have to take array of 1. So, if you take array of 1, fc. f means what? 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, c means 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, here number of 1c is 6. Number of 0c is 2. So, here also, you have to right shift array of 1 by 1 time. And each time, uh, the shifted value again will be placed in the array of 1 only. And if the, if that particular bit is 1, it will increment 1's counter. And if it is uh, 0, it will increment 0's counter. Now, let us check it out. Compile this program. No errors. Start debug. So, in the previous program, I opened these things. So, if you want, you can send number of zeros and ones to these ports also. So, here port 0 and port 1 now. I will add port 0. You have to use capital P0 is equal to zeros. Capital P1 is equal to ones. It's again sensitive. You have to use proper. Open local view call stack window. It is declared as care. So you can see here unsigned care, unsigned care. So hexadecimal 57, hexadecimal FC. Okay. Now the first data initialize the care is equal to 0. For to see this carry flag, you have to open register. Open register. Here you can see carry. Carry you have to reinitialize to zero. Now for i is equal to zero, i of i less than zero, i plus plus array of zero is taken to later. And after that, this is going to shift right entire eight bit is going to shift by one. The fifty seven, if you shift right side, it becomes uh, array of zero you can observe it becomes a different value 57 now it becomes 08 now uh, 57 now 0 1 0 1 5 means 0 1 0 1 and calculator Hexadecimal fifty seven in binary, you can see here zero one zero one zero 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 one zero one. If I shift entire thing right side, this one will go to carry position. So many ones and zeros are there to count here one, two, three, four, five, five ones, three zeros should come and eight. Uh, five ones should come after the first uh, eight bit right shift. So first time fifty seven no. So one will go to carry position. You can see one here. So it will increment one's counter. Similarly, next time if you shift next also one no. It will increment once only. Third time also one. Fourth time we incremented zero. Fourth time because first increment is one, next also one, next also one increment, next zeros increment, next one increment, next zero increment, next one zero. Like that, eight times it will come. It will do this. After that, it will go to second for loop. Once it completes eight times, it will come out of that.
you know, after the first data, five, five is the count in ones, three is the count in zeros. Now I value becomes eight. So once it becomes eight, it will come out of, see, I, I value is eight and the I is not less than eight. So it will come out on first for loop, it enter to second for loop. Now it will take array of first data. Now it will check uh, second data is what FC. In the FC, how many are there? You can see. The hexadecimal you have to take FC. FC. FC is equal to binary 1111100. So first it should increment zeros counter, zeros counter. One counter, one counter, one counter, one counter, one counter, one counter. So already previously from the first data, uh, we have ones and uh, zeros as five and uh, three. For this ones five, remaining six will be added. And for this three, remaining two will be added. So let us do this complete this. So the second number is shifting. Each time after shifting, array of zero is only modifying. So once it completes all, okay. Uh, the last final answer is B. B means uh, A means ten, B means eleven. Eleven ones and five zeros. Eleven ones and five zeros should come. Uh, in the what is our data? What our actual data is five seven FC. Five what is it? Five seven FC in the binary one, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven means D. So your answer is correct. Uh, but it is not coming to port 1 and port 0 because while 1 uh, we ended here only. So semicolon is there, means yeah, infinitely it will stay here only. So what you have to do is you have to co uh, paste these two lines above the while 1. So I will start this program first. So again, these two lines to paste here. So it will show in the ports also now. After completion, port zero is centered with five values. Port zero is actually showing number of zeros. Port one is showing number of ones. Thank you. Thank you.